What does a plaintiff do when the insurance company is not making a fair offer and they're concerned about filing a lawsuit against the person who caused the incident? Often this concern is based on a misunderstanding about how the defense works in a personal injury case, and so that's what I'm going to talk to you about. Uh, many people who've been injured in a car accident, in a slip and fall, are decent people. They're just trying to get their bills paid, um, trying to get what's fair based on their injuries, and that, that is certainly what you're entitled to if that's the situation that you find yourself in. Uh, many people are not excited about the idea of a lawsuit because they're afraid about the possibility of taking someone's home, of taking someone's retirement accounts, and that's not um, what the average injured, injured person wants to do. And the good news is that's not what we do. Uh, as a plaintiff's personal injury attorney, I am not in the business of taking people's houses from them. Um, it's important to know that the defense in these cases is always an insurance company. Always. We are, except under certain limited circumstances, so I'll say 95% of the time, um, it's an insurance company on the other side. And so what happens when you file a lawsuit, though, is that you can't name the insurance company. You have to name the person who caused the accident. That person is the defendant in the case. However, the insurance company is still heavily involved, um, really entirely involved in the whole defense of the case. Um, what happens is we file the lawsuit, the defendant is served with notice of the paperwork, and then it's the insurance company through the contract or the insurance policy that that person has with their company. The insurance company assigns a, um, an attorney to act as their defense counsel. And as the case goes on, and once the case resolves, the people, the company who are paying a settlement or a defense verdict is the insurance company. So even though we've named an individual as the defendant in the lawsuit, they're not out of pocket. Again, except under limited circumstances, which I will get to in a later video, but the vast majority of the case, it's the insurance company paying the money out of the policy. So if you find yourself in a situation where you've been given no choice, but you have to file a lawsuit, First, talk to a qualified personal injury attorney, but second, know that if there's insurance involved in the case, it's insurance that will be paying, and it's not the individual who is going to be um, financially burdened by what's happened.